Hey happy people, this is Tanya Hall, the Chocolate Mama from thechocolatemama.com and today mm -mm, I have a really good one for you. Okay, so let me ask you a question. Do you plan on being successful in your MLM, your network marketing company, um, direct sales company? Do you plan on being successful in it? I hope you said yes and I have something really to help you to put the pieces together for that. So I also want to know, um, it does it go through your mind like almost on an everyday basis, uh, just filter into your mind every day that you really, really, really want to do this full time. So I'm talking to the people right now today who are not doing this full time and not working your MLM full time and you really want to. Well, before you go into really getting into your MLM full time, I want to show you both sides of the coin. Because there's two sides of the coin, both stories. There's two stories going on. And I want to help you to be successful at it. So today we're going to talk about the dreaded D word. Do you know what that is? The D word. Discipline. Oh, oh my gosh. Yes, discipline. Today we're going to talk about discipline versus talent and the four daily fundamentals you got to do to help build your business. Yes, there are things that you have to do every day. And you may be super duper excited about... Um, being able to work for yourself and to give up your nine to five job. I know I was, but I wish I would have been a little bit more prepared in basically what you got to do every day to build a business and a routine said you have to create. See, so I'm excited to really dig in here with you on this. Let's have some just really pretty much four things that I have here I want to talk about to really help you build a great 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 environment and a great foundation to tap into your discipline okay so working with yourself requires a certain amount of discipline you have to have every day to get the job done so in a regular job um, nine to five job they already have outlined the job descriptions what you're going to do and here you are all of a sudden you're in this position where you are working for yourself now and now you have to create you now have to create a job description for yourself of what you're going to do every day so first one's talk about the first thing is writing out Number one, you need to write out a weekly agenda. So here's what I do. Every Sunday, I get down and I write out what I'm going to do detailedly every week. Like what I'm going to do on Monday, what I'm going to do on Tuesday. I write a very detailed which strategy I'm going to use. Now, here's what I recommend. I recommend that you only work on like maybe one or two at the most strategies that you're going to work on. Don't overwhelm yourself in doing Facebook and Instagram and and Twitter and YouTube it becomes a bit much and you kind of fall apart especially if you're new okay so just kind of pick one strategy that you're gonna just rock out man I mean you just need to like 
just rock that strategy out. You just need to go for it, okay? And you need to focus on it and become the best of the best at that strategy before you start to go into too many different strategies, okay? So focus on that one strategy and how you're going to build that and market it. Just keep it really simple. On Sundays or pick one day, it doesn't necessarily be Sunday for you, it doesn't work out, okay? And outline, itemize everything um, that you're going to do. I use something called a marketing strategy spreadsheet. And it really helps a lot. So I can mark down exactly what I'm going to do during the week, what I'm going to post, what I'm going to post about, what my titles, my subjects are going to be about. So then when it's time to do the workload, it becomes easier. I don't have to think about it. I can even do knock out some of my videos earlier in the week. So just plan a really great spreadsheet it's, and how long it's going to take you to do those tasks. Is this a 30-minute task? Is it an hour task? Is it a 10-minute task? So that you know you can keep better timing of what you're going to do. Okay? So that's number one. Number one, you have to have productivity activities. So what does that mean? Okay, you ready? Got to get serious now. Productivity activity. Productivity activity is strictly about finding things that just make you money. What are the activities, very specific activities, that you can do every day that just make you money? So, example, I know for a fact that um, writing my blog will eventually make me money. Okay? So I write in my blog and it will eventually lead to productivity. Activity. But it's not, but sales, a direct sales or selling something or selling a product that day, that is a definitely, definite activity. So that's what you want to do. You want to keep your focus on those things that are productivity things first, get those things out of the way, then move to the things that are just more activity things, not so much productivity things. Okay. So that's number two. Okay, so number three, I call it the Fantastic Four. Okay, <laughs> love this. <laughs> fantastic Four. So I'm just going to go over real quickly what they are. Training, implementation, evaluation, and repeat. Okay, so let's go over those again. Training, implementation, evaluation, and repeat. So let's, let's break those down with those are training. We all need training. If you're not getting trained in your business every single day, learning something new every single day that you can then implement into your business, <clears throat> you're not going to have a very successful business. It's not going to last very long. You got to make sure you're getting your training in. You got to get it, man. You, that's just it. You got to have something to fill you up, to fuel you. Learning something new in our craft every single day. 15 minutes, 20 minutes, learning something new. Have to do it. Then whatever you learn, then you need to implement it into your business. You need to apply it every day. And you will see the natural growth of you will make your business grow as well. Okay, evaluate. Then you need to go back and, and look at, evaluate for yourself how this set of trainings or the things that you are doing, the strategies that you're doing every day, how are they working? Are they working well? Do you need to tweak something? Here's something that is working part of time, but it's not working all the time. You need to go back and evaluate. There should be a weekly evaluation. What what went well the previous week? What went well? What didn't go well? Is it something I need to remove or something I just need to tweak? So, and then finally, repeat the same process, okay? Fantastic four. That was step number three. And finally, you need to deflate distractions. Oh my gosh, that is a huge one for me. Um, 
get so distracted. Phones, social media, always online. My sorority sisters, my fraternity brothers, my mother, my sisters, my father. They all will continue to ring you. It's always something. Your kids, your husband, it's always something that's going to distract you. The thing is, is we need to be prepared for the distractions. We know that they are coming. We don't have to think about it. We don't have to say, will I have a distraction coming? Yes. The answer is yes. If you want to know the truth, the answer is yes. It is coming. So you just got to prepare for it to come. It's going to come. It's going to happen. So we need to be prepared for it. And we need to deflate the distraction. We need to be prepared. We know the kids are going to come. So what can I do to deflate that? I know my husband is going to come and ask me, what can I do to deflate that? What can I do? What can I have already set up, prepared, ready to go for these distractions? So um, I hope everybody got something out of this. Discipline, got to be disciplined. Trump's talent. You got to have the discipline to set these things up and plan for these things. Plan for the four daily fundamentals to build your MLM. You got to apply these to your business. I hope this has helped, guys. I really appreciate you. Please leave me a comment. Know how much I love it. I want to hear from you. Yes, I want to hear from you guys. Want to get some feedback? How was whether this stuff is working for you or something to help you to build your business? Also, just come and visit me. Um, at my website, thechocolatemama.com. Would love for you to come by and grab a, grab some of the free training that I put out there. I'm putting out lots of great value, great content. Come by, get some free training, to help you build your success, whatever you want it to be, okay? Thanks a lot, guys. I'll see you soon. Bye for now.